Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new streak, not new save file, the streak. Apologies, I had to burp. And again, oh lord. But, as is tradition, for our milestone of 30, we got the keeper. Well, I think we got the lost for 20 wins, and uh, we're gonna get the keeper for 30 wins. A uh, little, little tricky, little scary, um, but I don't mind it. I think it's fun. Uh, it's just, it just scares me as all, well, like a lot. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I've been known to mess up with this guy, and I feel like this guy's one of those characters that if you don't get a good run going, the, the late game bosses can be pretty goddamn difficult, so we'll see how this goes. We're going to be min-maxing the hell out of the early floors as much as we can. That is why I'm destroying these fires and so on and so forth, um, and we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can get something good going on. I will check out the shop here, and we get... The luck penny shop, which is really really nice because uh, that puts us back on normal luck I would like to not be hit by this guy, which is not entirely plausible. I don't know Okay, Kill this guy first good good oh, We do have bombs nice. Can you die already dude? You, 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 you've, you've taken a lot of shots already a lot of a lot of shots. There you go. There you go Right Quickly bomb those two. We got that. Spider mod would be kind of nice. Also, this is plus five keys, so also kind of nice. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on the rest of this floor so far. We'll see what we can do. Leave those pennies there for now as a bit of safety, and we'll see where we go from there. But that was a good shop to get our luck in a better spot. No more minus luck for us, which is rather nice. And we'll see what item room offers for us. As for the question of the day today, um, what's a what's a shop that you like just refuse to ever go in? Like, what what's what's a not even just a shop? What's a business that you just refuse to ever use? Um, I try to avoid Nestle whenever I can. I know Nestle is pretty awful, um, but I will admit I don't I don't fully avoid it as much as I probably could. I just try to when I can, but. Uh, that, that just involves me not buying stuff. So my parents give me something that's Nestle. I'm, I, I'm not going to refuse it sort of thing. How does this work? This, is, this doesn't just kill me, does it? Okay, good, it doesn't. That's it's, it's pretty, pretty goddamn amazing in terms of items to get for us, to be honest. In terms of items to get, that's it's pretty goddamn amazing. Um, so that's that's really rather quite nice. That's really rather quite nice. Okay. Good amount of pennies there. Good, good. Tool is very, very good. Tool is very, very good indeed. We quite like tool. Right. Back we go. We're going to try and do the sack room for a bit because we've got Nun's Habit now, which should make it easier. And we can pop this again and do that. Ah, damn it. That was a bit stupid of me. Okay. Again, a bit stupid of me here. Need to be more careful about the way I walk here. We've got an angel teleport and we got a very, very good item here. We'll take that, thank you. Another very good item. Okay, all round pretty good stuff. I um, think I will do this as well. Right, grab that real quick. And I think this next one's the Soul Hearts or uh, thingy, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we just got the flies, which is not exactly what we wanted, but overall, not bad. This is a good first floor. This is a, this is a pretty, pretty fucking good first floor, I've got to say. Um, I think we're in a, a very, very good spot right now. Got good items. Um, getting um, whatever it's called, Chermerism. I can't remember the name of it now. On floor one, is just obscenely strong. Uh, because this item gives us all, uh, like, permanent stat upgrades when we kill mini-bosses and normal bosses. Very, very good. And then, what was in here? An actual shop. We can either buy spider mod. Honestly, yeah, I'll buy spider mod. Why not? I guess we could have got the keys as well. We've got three keys already. I think we're okay. Uh, and the secret room is probably here, but I'll just go and quickly fact-check that. I guess not, actually. Okay, so it's probably either here. Yeah, I think it's here. There you go. 
and a good bit of extra money. Very, very good first floor. This is what min-maxing gets you, baby. This is what min-maxing gets you. And we should be able to kill the boss very quickly with this amount of flies. And the uh, axe and things like that. It's all good. Now all we need is some uh, stats for our actual uh, tiers. Get our tiers going. Also, by the way, obviously no icicle today because I'm recording. Um, I'm recording this on the same day that I recorded the last episode. Obviously, there's only one icicle per day. So you're going to know whenever I'm backlocking videos, essentially, nowadays. Um... But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some more Icicle. Really enjoyed today's. I feel, I feel it was a, a pretty good one. Alright, pop that in there. Lovely stuff. Yeah, we get uh, status up for the room as well from enemies killed. It's all around just very good, and also there's tool just being amazing. We got another sack room over here, which is, of course, very, very good for us. Uh, we'll try and get some pennies on the floor first before we uh, play around with that, to be honest. But we'll definitely play that to our heart's content whenever we can. Yeah, Tool, you are the best. Good, good. Yeah, I'm just going to go in here and basically pop this whenever I have it ready to put a penny down. Unfortunately, getting pretty, pretty unlucky so far with this. Not got much money on the floor at all. Take care of you. Put that penny down there. Can't be asked going all the way back for it. Come on, Tool, do your thing. Damn it. I think it's only a small chance to get Tool to activate. Don't think it activates on every hit. But it's not a wonder item. Right, destroy all these. Why not? I probably should just should just wait. There's a penny there. Didn't expect that. Good, good. Another penny there. Lovely. Another penny there. Okay, we're good. Burner baby. We like him. We love him. We want some more of him. Right, so we got some pennies already stacked up around the place. So let's go start sack rooming. Honestly, getting two sack rooms in a row here is pretty good. Right, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should, I should be popping my space bar every time here. I don't know why I'm not. And the last one. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Got a bunch of extra money to work with. Why not? Makes our shop more valuable. Just puts us in a good space for buying whatever comes our way. Good stuff indeed, baby. Good stuff indeed. We can pick up the rest of these pennies around and we can go to our shop and buy any amount of numerous things. Um, that's plus five bombs. Why not? Um, don't really think that does too much for us, to be honest, even though it's cheap. Very, very good with George. We like George. And then... Steam sale is very good, and Pop Pop will be able to afford as well. I'll definitely take Pop Pop. I think it's very good. Let's come back here real quick and grab some of the pennies in here. And grab Pop Pop as well. Pop Pop's one of those rare items. That it's a shop item that gives you damage, which you don't get very many of, but they're good when they do show up. And then I guess I'll just bomb this to see what we get as our next item in case we can afford it later. And by in case, I mean we definitely can. Grab that. Tears up, please. Damn it. We got luck though. Looks pretty good. Okay. I think we've uh, we've done an incredibly good job with securing this win so far. Doing what we can to secure it, should I say. Pop Pop's a little slow here. But does a lot of damage, so... Not a bad thing. Ooh, bit of a bad hit there. We do get um, that, which is nice. Even more luck. Puzzle piece. And we will get the hell out of here. I'm going to go Angel Deal, to be honest. I've not got the money for it right now. Obviously, I've spent a ton of money in the shop. So I'm going to keep on going this way and go for a uh, thingy. I can't, I can't believe we got Nun's Habit first floor and not even from the shop. That was stupidly lucky. Nun's Habit is incredibly good as this character. Gives you a hell of a lot of safety. Um... 
a little bit of backup in situations in which it would be difficult otherwise to stay alive or generate pennies. And also now we've got George as well, which is extra red room, which is nice. I, can't, I think Pop Pop is piercing, right? No, maybe not. Either way, it's doing good stuff for us. I should be popping my space bar whenever I can as well, real realistically. Maybe in combat rooms though, rather than outside of them. Nothing much from there. Which is beautiful, look at that. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Pop, pop with the stainless steel, baby. I don't think we get a sack room again, dude. Oh my god, Tool just being its best self right there. Amazing. An item room. We get booster shot, which is actually piercing. Bit of a damage down, but I think overall piercing is just worth it. Um, with pop pop and just with everything in general. And then, yeah, as, as you can see as well, we're getting our red rooms here as well. So we've got to watch out for those. Just got to make sure we don't accidentally walk off of the map because it's easy to do that. Right. So in here, ooh, two very good items here. There you go. Everything's dead. Oh, come on, money. Come my way. I've got two items in there I'd very much like to buy. Both of them are very good. In fact, both of them, I believe, work well together. I'll buy Hive Mind first, though, because I think Hive Mind's the better of the two, because we already have ways of gaining flies and stuff. Secret room here, maybe. There you go. Ooh, we get a one-up. I mean, that's... That's a nice bit of extra protection for us right there. A one-up is, is super, super useful. Just in case things do go a bit wrong. Okay, we've got enough to get um, Hive Mind at least. And we'll come back for the B1 if we can. I think the B1 is better overall as an item. Um, but I think that at the end of the day, we want to take Hive Mind. But yeah, I think the B1 is generally the better item. I think because we have such a strong way of generating blue flies already. It kind of makes sense, but we'll see. We might be able to, we might be able to get birth. It's not, it's not without the um, out of the realm of possibility to just get birth. Okay. Don't particularly like the setup here. We got through it all right though. Yeah, that is, that wasn't really worth anything to anyone, was it? Yeah, and this booster pack thing's pretty good. We get bonus damage for enemies that we pierce through. So we can get some insane damage in certain situations. It's just not going to be all the time. Beautiful. And we go ahead and boss it up. We did not get a penny in this room, unfortunately. Ah, bollocks. This is a boss that I find pretty pretty tricky, to be honest. I mean, luckily we've got very good damage, so he's going down pretty quick, but I do find him not so easy. Get ourselves Golem's Orb, which is yet more luck. Good stuff. And we keep her going. It's been, it's been a pretty strong run so far. The game's been generous to us indeed, indeed. I love the axe as well. The axe is a great addition to all of this. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, that was kind of close. Good for you, good sir. Good for you. Just a single key. It's weird when that happens sometimes. That you open a chest and you get like a single thing. I don't know how that managed to kill that other keeper dude that was miles away, but there you go. We could do the uh, the ferryman thing. Someone did suggest about just taking more money off, like. Artificially raising the cost myself. I think what I might do is I might just go into the code and change it like that That mod isn't gonna get updated anytime soon So it won't overwrite my changes and I'm pretty sure it's it should be a, a like a, a one-line change if I can find where it is It'll be in the main.lua somewhere and I can just up it to 20 cent Obviously the the visual the graphic won't represent that but I'll know sort of thing so I think in that in that regard it'll be fine Boss trap room here. Not another sack room there. Beautiful stuff. Ooh, hello. A puzzle piece as well, and a crawl space. All sorts. Because I love the way that this card used to be really unique and good, and then the uh, 
They changed how A was and um, what's it called works. Ooh, yeah, no more magnet. I don't really care about right now. They ch they changed how A was plus um, reads go deeper works, and it just completely nullified the entire reason for that card to exist. It went from being like, oh, it's really cool to get one of these, to be like, oh, this is just basically an A was rune <laughs> that has that can only do that one thing rather than destroying rocks as well. Wait, no, no, not destroying rocks. What am I on about? It's the one that uh, thingy, isn't it? Just creates a trap door, but still, it's just it's just funny. It's, it's just funny. Is it a wash rune that I'm thinking of? Might not be a was. I don't remember the rune's name now. I'll be honest. Can we bugger off with all of this, please? Was all of this really necessary? Lots of extra money there to work with. Ooh, we get Tony as well. Taking damage. Activates Berserk mode and you start using your Knuckles. Knuckles insta-kill enemies less than 100 HP. Deals five times your damage. Yeah, we'll try that out. Hopefully it's good for us. I'm going to shop where art thou. Shop should be somewhere close by. I mean, we've got plenty of money to work with here. God damn, I love Pop Pop. You are soy milked up, boy. You are soy milked up. For exactly 30 cent. Good to go. Oh my god, Tool. It's so good, man. It's so good. Oh, Greed's butt is insanely strong. Especially with a character like this, actually. Oh, um, we get Aubrey as well. Um, I don't actually want Aubrey because it's not really useful for us, but it is kind of funny to, to grab it just to have the trio. Glowing Hourglass is, of course, really good too, but I've got to keep what I've got. Uh, obviously, Piggy Bank's amazing, and I will gamble with this. It's a, it's a pretty hefty gamble, but I will gamble with it. Oh, it is, uh, it's currently broken. Unfortunate. Um, you want, might want to take a look at that there, June. Because uh, that didn't give me anything, but we're sitting pretty right now. We've just got Piggy Bank on top of having, uh, what's it called already? Something jumped out that chest and didn't exist. Hopefully that hasn't the trinket thing hasn't broken stuff. Too badly. Feared in the corner, big boy. Good. Hurst on Turst to get some of that damage back. Lovely. Spawn Eve as a second character. I just don't care. Like, that just doesn't help me at all. And it's just going to confuse me, so... No. <laughs> the so the spawn of second character things I really don't like. Uh, right, anyways. We'll go down to the next floor. But yeah, basically, the way Greed's butt works is it's kind of like a dumpy that recharges via you picking up coins instead. But it negates any and all damage. So we're in a very, very good spot for survivability right now. Piggy Bank plus, um, plus Habit is really good for if we actually get hit. And Greed's Butt is good for pre preventing hits. And we have an easy way to recharge it because we have constant incoming money. We're in a very good spot. Can't quite afford that yet. Or potentially can't quite afford it. I need Spectral. Having Piercing without having Spectral always just feels wrong. See there how the like, Seed Greed's butt's like sort of semi-filled. We keep picking up coins. I think it's four or five coins to refill it. It's almost refilled. This isn't really fair, is it now? Fuck it, I'm just gonna bomb it. And Greed's butt is refilled. You can see you can tell it's refilled because it starts like farting. That's leaving little gas clouds. Beautiful. And then item room. What was I just saying about spectral? There you go, baby. I ask. The game gives. The game giveth. As soon as I need. Thank you muchly. Pop another coin down. But yeah, greed's butt. 
There you go, just prevented a hit again there. But I think we still do on hit effects. Maybe. Here we got Samson's chain, obviously we don't really care for. Double active charge. Okay, that doesn't really help us with a single charge item, I don't think. Unless it can overcharge us, but I don't think by default it can. No token there, we'll leave that just in case we find something useful. All of those get destroyed. Reed's butt's almost refilled again. What the hell's this? Plus three black hearts and a bunch of all, like an all stats down. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want that. <laughs> That's an intriguing item. I mean, it is quality zero. I guess if you're just really, really desperate for HP. Kind of an interesting concept. Kind of an interesting idea. Right, Greed's butt is now refilled. We are back on top with all the money we've got as well. Is that it for this floor? I think it is. Oh, bloat's at the bloat spawning at the bottom of the room, man. Whoever decided to do that is lovely. Dude, screw this guy. Give me my Reddit gold. I love the room name. <laughs> Okay, I guess I will check out Devil Deal at this point. Unfortunately, not worth it at all. Not not items I can take. Guess I'll take the HP. I think we're in a good spot to win at this point, to be honest. Defense-wise, I think offense, we're, we're, we're in a pretty good position. But what will really change the tide offense-wise is gaining uh, damage and fire rate via... Um, via Chimerism, whatever it's called. The thing that gives us stats on boss kills. That will, will scale... Us pretty rapidly later on because there'll be more bosses to fight in in regular rooms. It's not just on boss room bosses; it's on all bosses. So that 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 one can get pretty out of hand pretty quick. Okay. Doesn't there's much we can do here. We've not found a ultra secret room yet, unfortunately. Too bad on those guys. Aubrey here. Oh. I don't know why I said Aubrey here. I was, I was just looking at the, the, the head that we're wearing at the moment and just said it. My butt went off. Not, a, not an item I'm particularly interested in taking there. I don't have any bomb synergy for it either, so... Not good on that front either. Easy. Oh, man, Tool is just killing it. Any enemies of the same type are just, yeah, dying instantly, like, like just happened there. Unless they have invincibility phases, they're all just dying. And we get our fists for a little while, we get to punch things, I love that. I do love to punch. We've seen our item room, we haven't seen our shop yet this floor, so we ought, we ought to check that out. I think shop is pretty valuable at this moment in time. Yep, everything dead. <laughs> There's just no worries. Most rooms are filled with multiples of the same enemy type. Makes things like Tool incredibly strong. I'm going to take this Mama Mega just to uh, open up Boss Rush and see if there's anything game changing in there. Because you never know, there could be. Oh wait, this is the boss. I thought back there was the boss. That was confusing. Did I? I, I swear I saw that this room over here was the boss room. My brain scrambled. Right, back over this way, I guess. I thought I went through here, and I saw a boss room up there. I guess I didn't. I don't know why I walked back over there, then. My bad, I guess. 
I'm having a pretty easy time just slaying through at the moment. E. Got a half mind flies going as well. Lovely. And then in here, ooh. Very good on Mother's Love. We got a lot of familiars, so that'll be quite a lot of all stats up. We got Solar Lilith on top of that for Worm Friend, which is very, very good. And we can open up both of these and see what we get. Unfortunately, a whole lot of nothing. Hey, and we got our Ultra Secret Room this time as well. Eye of the Occult, we like. I have the occult we like quite a bit. Ooh, we got a big chest, a mini big chest. Whoa, my goodness. That's a lot of money to gain from one of those. Holy damn. Okay. Money no longer a concern either. Right, back we go once again. Uh, to be fair, actually, now we've got a ton of money, and on the last floor in which money is useful, really, we should go and play our battery beggar and see if we can get anything out of him. I'm just going to keep spamming space as he recharges it to get more and more pennies around so that we can play him more if he takes all of our money. See, we've had this item before on the Keeper. It's a banging item to have as the Keeper. We can use our space bar even once we're out of charges, which is incredibly valuable and a really good sort of backup safety. I was actually looking for the batteries where I can store two charges, but this is better. Very happy with that. Okay. Let's go. We're in a very, very good spot right now. Got a lot of safety on us. God damn. Easy kill there. We did get an angel deal. We'll of course take that. Um, I mean, this is obviously useless to us. It's a very good item, but this is a revive. So having yet another revive in our back pocket doesn't help us right now, but it's it's safety. And then we'll just check if there's anything in here that's, like, unbelievably good. Unfortunately not. Bit of a waste there. I don't also don't, don't know why the guy, the guy said Beetlejuice. I'll really be honest, I have no idea what that's about. But I think checking was worthwhile, because I, I just don't, didn't see many other uses for that active, uh, for that item, sorry, that Mama Mega Explosion, so why not? Skedaddle, skadoodle. Oh my god, look at that. Beautiful. Can't believe we got Mother's Love in the shop as well. Mother's Love's yet another one of those items that it's it's a bit of a rarer one, and it's not always super useful, but it gives you a random familiar for buying it, and then the, the, for every familiar you have, you get an all-star. So even if it's an only, only a small one, it's still valuable. We part tier it up quite a bit, I think. Yes, we are killing it right now. I always forget that uh, Hive Mind affects spiders too, and it affects my uh, my spider mod look. Reverse the tower. So many tower-based items that I don't want. <laughs> Rest of the tower doesn't do much for us. Oh my god, look at that. Plus tool as well. Doing some good stuff. Toothpicks once again. Beautiful. How much luck do we have right now? Oh my god. We have 15.85. Um, my goodness. This Kermarism item I've told you before is uh, pretty nutty. Yeah, they all just die. Probably go into the arcade and see what's up with that. Might be something good in there. Quickly go check it out. There's one of these guys, I'll play him. Nice. Don't want to go through the doors while there's no mapping because I could end up error rooming. End up in the wrong place. Hey, ferryman. No thanks, my boy, no thanks. I could, to be fair, I could probably change the sprite as well to be 20 cent. I'll, I'll have a look into that after this episode. I might be able to change it. I don't know that it'd make it 20 or 15. I think 20, considering there's an angel item on the, um... Like, there's a, there's a possible angel item and everything, so it's like... I think 20 makes the most sense. We 
We got a puzzle piece. Puzzle. Wow, thanks. You will hurt you. Anyway, that was kind of worthless, unfortunately. I tried. Oh, my god. Hey, my, 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 my greed's butt just saved me there. Just gotta remember to, to keep refilling that bad boy. Refill that big old butt whenever we can. Right, boss time. Probably should have refilled it before coming in here, to be honest, but... What's done is done. It's a pretty quick kill regardless. Got him before the second phase even started. Beautiful. Another angel deal, unsurprised. Uh, I said I was gonna say unsurprising, I meant surprising. Um, right. Halo's not bad at all, do not mind it. I think after this I'm gonna go for a nice little run. Um, the weather outside is reasonable, it's probably still fucking cold, but it's reasonable, and uh, I haven't been for a run in a little bit. It's been like a week, so definitely down to go for a nice, slow run. Get some exercise in. Mutant Spider, it's a good item, but I don't think it's what we want right now. I don't think I want to slow down my fire rate much of, at all. Right, any room with a lot of enemies in it, we can uh, ace a heart's tent to a bunch of flies. Damn it, you hit me. I bounce off it as I run into it. If I'm at high speed, I bounce off of it. We've had a lot of items that are good here that we've turned down, to be honest. Ooh, there's some damage. To be honest, do we care? Probably not. Eh, it's, it's worth going back for. It'd be stupid not to. It's, it's literally free damage. It would be silly not to. Don't know where I'm going to use this as a heart. I need a room that's befitting of it, to really. Worm friend holding him in place right now is very helpful. Yet another sack room here. Got a few hits on that there. Need some more pennies to make that work. Right, there's some pennies. Good stuff. Oh, really? Fighting him in this room? Okay. Luckily we've got plenty of pennies to work with, but this is a little risky. Oh, that bomb was perfection itself, though. Oh my god, look at our shot speed. I didn't really realise how insane our shot speed was right now. Okay, we're tapped out in there as well. Oh my god, we got like the absolute ultimate, ultimate scenario for playing sack rooms. We are so... Like, so fit and ready. I mean, this is just... I, I, I genuinely don't know what's been happening with my streaks recently, but I have been, for one, playing well, but for two, just getting, like, really, really amazing setups for the runs that I'm on. It's been, it's been incredible. <laughs> it's, it's made me feel really good about myself being able to get a 30 streak. I wouldn't say easily, but, like, being able to get a 30 streak like this... I've just got to remember that if I run out of charges, I can I can keep playing my active item. So if I do get into the boss, and I'm a, for some reason a sticky scenario, which I really shouldn't be, but if I do get in one, I can get out of it relatively easily just by spamming my space bar. There you go, get a bunch of stats off of that. Dude, we have 27 luck. This might be a bit strong. But imagine if all of that had gone to damage rather than luck. Because it's random which stats you get, so... Ooh, Mysterious Liquid's lovely. Unfortunately, 
not doing a whole ton of damage here. We did block a hit there, though, luckily, because of Greed's butt. Yeah, damage is good, but still not, like, drop-dead amazing. Don't know why I combined drop-dead gorgeous and amazing there. That's kind of strange. But Worm Friend keeping him locked down. Beautiful. Beautiful. A Greed's butt's refilled instantly. Awesome. Right, the last floor, once again. I mean, there's real piercing. We also got... That's pretty good, I think. Oh, yeah, that's... That's pretty good. All of these boys giving us stats when we kill them as well. I'll leave pennies on the floor just in case. Neither are good for us, unfortunately. Remember, we've still got this Ace of Hearts to get a bunch of flies if there's a room with a lot of uh, enemies in it. I actually know what room I'm looking for for it, to be honest. There's a specific room that uh, would be very, very good that you can sometimes find on this floor. Basically, it's just a room with every single gaper in it. And all of them would be uh, candidates for Ace of Hearts, I believe. It's a large room, so we're looking for a large room. I think any large room is going to be good, to be honest. Oh, I see. That guy was locked to him. That's a, that's a cool idea, that. That would have been a good room for it as well, to be honest. Dude, these, these like, circles of electric around this are uh, doing some amazing stuff right now. We killed that guy before he even transformed. Beautiful. Surprised we're not getting more items, to be honest. I need to fill up Greed's butt more before the boss fight. Alright, here's our large room. Let's see if it's the large room of our dreams. I don't know, but I'm going to use it anyways. That's a lot of flies, baby. That's a lot of flies. Hopefully we can hold some of these for the boss. We'll see. Dude, I'm not getting any like pennies for my axe. There you go. I just want to fill up my Greed's butt. Is that so hard to ask? But my penny ratio is uh, very bad right now. Linger bean. Right, I think we've filled it up now. Yeah, Greed's butt is filled. It's boss time, baby. Just remember, we can spam our space bar as much as we want for uh, a speed down. And a shot speed down, I think it is as well. I don't need to use it, but if I get into a sick situation... Just remember, I'm going to get active char... So I've got Greed's Butt to get, give me a hit first. Then I'm going to get active charges. Then I've got uh, Piggy Bank, which has a chance to give me money. I've got all sorts of stuff keeping me safe here. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Amazing. There you go, baby. Yet another win. 30 wins in a row. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.